that was a song from Leonard Cohen um, doing his uh, his uh, anthem so here we say Shabbat Shalom be happy let the peace of Shabbat dwell over you. I wanted to do this video just because Shabbat is here. And I will remind everyone Shabbat is all over the world. Either you accept it or not. Shabbat is here, my friends. Everybody knows. Everybody knows that it's Shabbat. So what's up with the Shabbat? What is the true meaning of Shabbat? I found it. I found it um, yeah, on Google. Shabbat Shalom means peaceful rest. That you are in, uh, in peace when you are resting. <clears throat> Today at the city church I had to defend Jews and Israel. Someone talked badly about the Orthodox Jews and how that can be a <clears throat> main topic as if they are immune to such um, judgment what is it all about what they they she was saying something about bad about Israel the Orthodox Jews. So I said, "What is what is up with you? It's their uh, culture, it's their tradition. What is wrong with that? What is more wrong than anybody else? We have our tradition, which is not not all that nice. If you are a foreigner, if you talk like you are, um, ob uh, are." unaware of different cultures well, she had been traveling she bragged about uh, traveling uh, in 80 countries <clears throat> yet she acted as uh, she didn't even know something about her own town the little town uh, in Norway called awkwardly Sandefjord that is awkward. Who would who would name that city, that town? It's not a city. It's just a town. Shabbat shalom. So I had to defend Jews and Israel. She said they are so strong. I said, what is pro pro your problem with that? And she said, the Israel is occupying ter territories. No, what? what a, in fact, you have, to, you have to say what they are occupying. Ah, it's Palestina. I said, you knew no better than me. That <coughs> Palestina is not a country. It's not a people. It's a bogus argument. So we had this turmoil. Uh, real turmoil of a degree on in the city church and I think I did the right because <clears throat> you can't you can't talk badly about the holy people without repercussions and I gave her the answer she was asking for so the peace, the peace within could come. I think in the end she was a 
Jew. I told her, I think you are some of those that forgot where they came from. You have to know where you are coming from, my friend. You come from my ancient country called Israel. God. You can't talk about Shabbat without God. <clears throat> because God, if it's, if God isn't reigning, who will defeat the enemy? If you don't put up verbs in your m mouth, you will, uh, you will stop breathing. I think diseases will vanish when your mouth talks the truth. I am I'm not a truth sayer. I'm a false prophet. <clears throat> so everything I say something like that, you have to doubt. Doubt my words because this is just a human, weak, broken mouth. So today we have the Shabbat, and you can see the light here that uh, is coming from so today I had a nice day thinking about what what else is, is there I should be aware much aware of what is going on in this world but you see I have my tasks I have my my life but uh, as long as it's my life I will lose it if I give up my life as I said some time back I will gain it so you, when I stop satisfying my own need satisfying the urges that I have the minute I stop worrying about if I'm going to be satisfied or not, I will be fulfilled. There is a um, lot of words that I'm going to say in the future, but only the words that I say now counts for now. I can't be in the future if I'm not transported into the vicinity of time. What is, a, what is it about time? Think time. The pure notion of time is Shabbat. Let me explain, let me try to explain what I'm thinking about. Because the time now, as I've been going into previous videos, I've been talking about time in a way that I can't even comprehend myself, because I don't understand time. Because there is a void to time. There is a void that the time isn't the past, isn't the future, but it's now. And now we can't pinpoint exactly. So that is Shabbat. The lack of awareness of now. <laughs> it's it's odd. It's uh, this crazy. You, you you have no clue about what is really now. But you have this peace of mind. This rest, rest in your thoughts, in your um, mind, that you are not all that crazy. 
If we believe in the, the rest at the time is a peaceful entity that comes into our mind in our awareness oh now it will always be a Shabbat maybe it is that everlasting Shabbat we are longing for that space makes up the void that we can find in our innermost soul I'm talking with people to, uh, today I, generally I'm talking with people and I think that I tap into those kind of things that I think people are much a, it's very nice the, 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 um, the thing that we are talking about is kind of no it's not this this and that it's this fluctual everlasting ever moving ever appearing ever presence of something that we can't really point out it's hard to talk about yet you we, we would like to define it but the minute the second we defined such a thing I think we lose it. If we can't keep the void inside, we will lose it. Why am I talking like this? I have no clue about it. It just runs through my uh, mind. And I don't know whether it's uh, good or bad. I think in your case, it's okay because you can cope with it in some way you may also understand it but in my case I have left it it's hard to say when you don't know and you don't know even if you are sober or not but to be sober is not always good I think he made wine in order for people to be a little bit over the top, a little bit over the, the degree of uh, sobriety. I don't believe in, in uh, drinking like addiction. No, it's not about, nothing about that. And I will uh, try to, 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 to talk soberly about drinking because sometimes as you as we can read in the bible we have to sober up regarding those kind of issues mr noah they call him noah noah he planted a vineyard after returning back from the the waves the water maybe that was the result of <laughs> making water making uh, wine from water that he he was the the personality that um, <laughs> represented the water that become wine in a very blessing way so from his ocean uh, trip he uh, transformed this turmoil this uh, troubles this uh, strife of his into something very beautiful and maybe that wine that he was preparing was all about the futuristic optimistic uh, belief that the Messiah will appear as wine 
That is a beautiful picture. The Messiah is all wine. Not us. I have to repeat myself because there are a lot of problems regarding alcohol. There is uh, not to be uh, a game of words. But um, when he made wine out of water, it was a great profound sign that Noah was the, was the promise of the Messiah. He planted a vineyard. He converted, like the Sadiq I have been talking about in previous videos, the Sadiq that justify, uh, that uh, justify the, um, the the unjust that is happening to us. Noah had this peace of mind that he left it up to God to close the door. And he left it up to God to call in all the animals. And uh, he left it up to God to do the work that he couldn't do. He could only define what was there. He was building that ark. How he made it, I have no clue. This, uh, this uh, timber. It was this uh, modern technique. I heard that um, the, the, the technique that was that this ark, they found parts of this kind of ship. Either it was Noah or, uh, or some, uh, someone else's boat. I don't know. But it was made out of uh, wood, timber that was glued together. Um, I can Google that word because it's, um, it's interesting. If you are paying this attention, I uh, let me put on some Israeli music. It was, that was from Israel, by the way. Yeah, it is um, this, uh, what I'm talking about, we call it in Norwegian, limtre, glulam, glulam, uh, because they laminate or they glue timber together so that it can hold a lot of stress. Uh, by by the fact that they are glued together in a opposite like in a opposite way and um, when they do that it contra uh, push the the stress the stress in the timber so when they d did that it held for more than the the pure a weight that it was um, was uh, attached to so they knew well how to do this boat uh, it's called gofer gofer uh, tre in norwegian gofer but it that was the glue glue lamb that was uh, there uh, they knew how to do this so strong and it's a modern Norwegian, I think it's a Norwegian technique, timber technique, that they found that the old pieces of those boats that they built in ancient time that have become uh, stone. The timber, the, 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 the tools, they, it has become stone. I don't know how to even Google that. But um, when, um, when, uh, when wood 
becomes stone. It have undergone a lot of uh, a lot of time, and those glued uh, timber is um, is uh, is left in the Tibet area, the uh, Turkey area, and they found out that it was a lot of parts that. Uh, could seemingly be the rest of the Noah's Ark. I'm not here to prove either ways. Uh, it's up to you that if you find it uh, interesting, you can Google Noah's Ark. But I am here to say only the pure single word Peaceful rest. Peaceful rest. And you get a little bit peaceful when you drink wine. I think his wine is the, is the answer for many, many people today. That he have the pure wine that you want, that you are seeking. The enlightenment, that the, 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 the enlightenment of the wine. You see, when we drink wine, we get a little bit high up there. That's okay. It's how the reaction is. And it's not far from this, um, this comforting belief that if, if we have this Messiah in our heart, We become enlightened. It's a pure, so pure and simple. But people lack the attachment to their own, their own reality. They strive off in their own mind and can't make up. Uh, so today, when I defended this, people walked away. They didn't want to hear that debate, but it was uh, when this lady was slandering uh, all the Jews, the Orthodox Jews, I sat there listening and watched her and uh, felt very, very awkward. And uh, for them, they joined her in that slandering. But uh, after some uh, time, I... Uh, uh, I am um, I uh, contra dictator. I think it was, it was needed, and then all the turmoil broke loose. I was the one that should be sh shutting up. They didn't like that kind of dispute, so I said, "What is your problem here?" One can sit and slander anti-Jewish uh, sentences for all the time, and you didn't react. Only when I disputed her that you react. So what is up with you? If it's uh, nonsense, I call it nonsense. So the peace of mind has some uh, weight to it. You have to put some weight to your word. That uh, not only, and I said, what is Israel occupying? They had no answer. They were shocked to their inner core. Israel doesn't occupy anything. They think Palestinian, but there is not a Palestinian people. There is not a Palestinian country. It's, uh, it's a bogus argument. So next time we will talk more about that, if I'm not talking enough of, of that kind of topic. <laughs> but uh, you should know, all this kind of nonsense comes from some, some place that is not good. That's why we Gentile and Jews have to drink wine in order to get peace of mind. We have to have this blessing. 
We need a lot of blessing in order to celebrate in peace, have peace of mind and tranquility. So my friends, that was a little bit about all the turmoil that is going on. And um, I will uh, make this short in order for you to have your own peace. You need my, you need the peace that I'm talking about. The peace that only God can give, the everlasting water, the everlasting peace. Even if it's turmoil outside, you have peace within.